The unique thing about about fascia is, in in my opinion, and from the research I've gathered, fascia really helps facilitate what we call a mechanical composite. And I'm gonna quote my good friend Stu McGill here, because when I wrote my first book, I interviewed Stu, and he's he's done some of this research back in the 80s or 90s, and he was, he was so fired up when I was asking him these questions, because you know what he said to me? He says, Bill, no one ever asked me these questions before about fascia, this is awesome. You know, I knew, I knew about this back in the 90s, but no one ever really inquired. And it was so unbelievable. So let me, let me talk about this mechanical composite and how the body works with co-contraction. And if you hear Stu talk or a lot of people talk, if you still live in that agonist and antagonist world and you're talking about uh, agonist and antagonist in terms of exercise and muscle, you're, you, you need to move forward. That's old, that's outdated, and in a lot of ways inaccurate. Optimal performance, optimal training is about the ability to co-contract. Uh, co-contraction is the essence of creating stiffness and the essence of knowing how to create stiffness because how fast you can run, how high you can jump, which I would assume, you know, speed, agility, quickness obviously is the essence for most athletes that we're trying to improve, right? That's like the, the, the game changer. Well, a big part of that is your ability to create stiffness when your foot hits that ground, not to leak energy out of the ankle, knee, hip, spine, core, what have you. And how do you create stiffness? Well, obviously you gotta have a foundational strength component, but the optimal way to create stiffness is really understanding how to co-contract and facilitate that through the fascia connective tissue and nervous systems. That's really, really important. And what you create when you create this co-contraction, you create this mechanical composite. Now, what do I mean by a mechanical composite? Well, if I gave you a piece of pine, wood, and I asked you and say it was a, a half inch piece and I held it in front of me and we're in martial arts class and it was a pretty good piece and you saw the, the way the uh, grain was running and you punched that, you probably could split it in half like a, like a, uh, you know, a white belt going to a mar uh, Taekwondo class, right? And I had the little kids, they break the wood and everybody claps, uh, you know, it's all that. But if you take that same piece of pine and you slice that pine in veneers, and then you take that same amount of wood and you cross glue it together. You cross section the veneers and you glue them together. What you created is a mechanical composite, more like plywood. That is a whole lot stronger. And that's how the body works. The fascia system helps to facilitate co-contraction of layers of muscles to create incredible amounts of stiff stiffness for optimal power production. This is earth shattering and life changing as a performance coach. Once you understand this, and once you understand how to go about training this. So that's why some athletes that might not be super strong in the weight room can do unbelievable things. Bruce Lee probably couldn't bench press 200 pounds, but that cat can generate a lot of force. And we know the essence of our industry is the rate of force production. That's the holy grail. Whether it be into a ball, into a golf club, into the ground, whatever it may be, the rate of force production is the holy grail of performance. What is one of the key secrets that we haven't identified until now is the ability to create a mechanical composite and co-contraction. And that is facilitated not only through the nervous system, but the fascia and connective tissue system, which has now six to 10 times more of the proprioceptors that now we just realized than muscle.